Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more po Pokemon. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon. Pokemon Conquest. We are still in Hideyoshi's army, and we're going to be moving on to the next month, and we're going to see if any of these other armies want to get aggressive. We're in September now of year one. All right, so the Dark Army is now going after the Rock Army, which is a retaliation from when the Rock Army attacked the Dark Army. And they won! The Dark Army defeated the Rock Army and got a few stragglers to join them. No warlords, though, just a few stragglers. Ooh, the Flying Army is going after the Ghost Army now. I wonder how that's going to end. Ooh, Flying lost to Ghost. That's a rough one. So the Ghost people got stronger then. Shingen is going after the Bug Guy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. He sent both armies. Oh, no. That was my next target was the Bug Guy. And he got the Bug Guy to join him. Crap. Okay, well, of all the Warlords, that's like the weakest. We just need to have a strong defense so Shingen and Kenshin don't get to us. Hmm. Well, first things first. Thing I care about the most. Let's see if there's any perfect links out there. Alright. A little Tepig and... Ooh, a Lar... Oh my god, that's such a rare find. Uh, what do they call those things? The Firebugs. Larvesta? Yeah, Larvesta. Uh, I don't want that, though. That's not the perfect link I'm thinking of. What about right here? Any perfect links? There is one out here. Nope. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to become conquerors. We're going to go after this army. It's Shingen, of course, but it's on my favorite, one of my favorite maps. The bug map is super fun. So I'm going to need my water guy. <sighs> Let me look at my, my new recruits. I have Luxray and I have, hmm, they're kind of weak. They're kind of weak. Still probably better than this Yoshi hero guy. So let's get him out of here. Okay, you, you're going over here for a second. guy this freaking guy he has such a strong army there and he left Kenshin over here but that means I mean I could take this over but then he'll take out whatever I leave uh, open if I do that and I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna bring over the grass guy with me even though he's super weak I'm bringing him we're gonna try and take over this enemy we're gonna try and take over the bug area even though it's way harder now that freaking Shingen's there but it's not Shingen in his whole army it's just like him and like his well he brought his junior warlords with him and he brought the Warlord from the Bug Kingdom, but he doesn't have Kenshin with him, so it's not the strongest army he could possibly have. So we should be fine, as long as we play this right. Gotta be a little careful. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a bigger fight than normal. We, our stats should be higher, though. Maybe Shingen's the only one we have to worry about. Yeah, 745 versus 671. It's gonna be a close fight. Definitely gonna be a close fight. Especially on a map like this, we gotta be careful. There's a lot of uh, random factors that can come in. Like the traps on the floors and the balls hitting us, the Pokemari balls. Plus, Shingen has a Rhyhorn in this one, not a Rhyferior. And Rhyhorn's a lot more versatile than Rhyferior. Whereas Rhyferior is just all damage. Alright, Jigglypuff, start the fight by getting this out of the way for Monferno. So, Monferno should not go up against this guy. This, this guy. Honestly, I need Oshawa to switch sides. I need Oshawa on the right. So, we're gonna have you go this way. You can go straight, does not matter. Duskull, you're most be you're best suited on the right as well. You're you're safe here. So stand here in case they hit you with a Pokemon Ball. That's fine. You can take it. Now Montagari here, he's really useful here, but the problem is he's kind of weak. His low link is going to be costing us. We have 32% link on our freaking Mareep, and I'm planning on getting rid of him. All right, let's see what their plan is. Alright, just a random guy, Venipede, not afraid of him. Alright, random guy, Larvesta, not afraid. Second in command, Yukimura, kind of afraid of him. Uh, former warlord of this area, bug type guy. Third in command, uh, junior warlord, kind of afraid of her. And that guy I'm afraid of for sure. He got hit on a trap! Okay, wait a minute. The game has opened up to us. Now that he's on a trap, we might be able to just kill him quickly. That might be our goal. Kill him quickly. His third in command is who I probably want to take out first, though, since she's right here. Yeah, I'm going to save Monferno. Monferno's going to take out the whole left side by himself. That's my goal for him. And then... Let's see. I need you to go over there. Yeah, let's go with this. Added bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a genius. Let's see how much damage we can do. Mm, these guys are tanky. They are warlords, so I shouldn't say anything. I'll send both my junior warlords, my second and third in command, to the right. They'll they'll cover it together. Yeah, this will make space. 
And then my grass guy, he's going over to fight uh, the, the gigantic Rhyhorn. Even if he is a little weak right now, he can do it. Okay, you... Oh, I forgot you have Vine Whip. That's pretty useful in this game. Vine, Whip, Vine Whip's multiple range attack... Or no, multiple space hitting attack is really good. So Jigglypuff, I want you to play... No, no. I was going to let you play Bait, but don't do it. Okay, you're going to be here. You're going to hit that. And that should do some damage to the big guy. Ugh, that is a tanky Rhyhorn, my god. And then Jigglypuff, pull them closer to you without going aggressive. That's my goal for you. Now let's see where the next ball falls. Ooh, cutting off my forces. Not great. Ooh, got a paralysis on the Tepig. That was super good. That's his second strongest Pokemon right there. Yukimura here. What is he going to do? Nothing? Nothing. A bug bite. It's not even going to do anything. And... Venipede got us. Good. That's what we wanted. And there's no poison because Jigglypuff Char makes us immune to it. Mo our main goal should be kill this freaking old guy before he breaks out of that trap. Once he breaks out of that trap, we're in real danger. Which I think he does next turn, so... Uh, my time is up. Ooh, we got a lullaby. Oh, I hit the weak guy. I was gonna say, if we could make the third person fall asleep, that'd be great. So, let's get to work. You, power up our crew. Yeah, march to your beat. Okay, skip your turn, hold up. You defend our crew. So we have attack and defense. This guy is defense. So now that we got our defense and attack up, go aggress... Well, actually, uh, let's go here. Oh, what? hold up. Let it catch up. There we go. Let's go here and do 46 damage. Hell yeah. On the enemy boss. That's really good. Holy crap, 48. We even got more. And then you go in and finish off the boss. Uh, 14 damage. I forgot your link was so low. Alright, so I'm gonna get my grass guy killed, but it's it's worth the damage. And now, I'm on Ferno. Wait a minute, he has 19 health. He resists it, though. Oh, God, does he resist it. He doesn't even care. Alright, Monferno, you just try to work on this Larvesta here. Don't worry about it. Ugh, critical hit! Nice! Holy crap, that's gonna make this battle a lot easier. Now, we can't capture anybody from this battle because Shingen owns mul multiple territories, so don't think we're gonna get anything out of this. Okay, let's go with the impact. Now, this guy got paralyzed last turn, but I actually want to paralyze you this turn because you have an ability that will heal you, so we need to stop that. Jagged Edge, that's a little annoying. Uh, didn't get the ability, but he's still paralyzed, so there's a chance he'll lose it anyway. Uh, do another 12 damage. This Ted Pig's a problem. 22 damage! Never mind, that's even better. And then you smack the crap out of this guy. How dare you attack us. Or girl, technically, because this is uh, Kunoichi's uh, Pokemon. Yukimura's third in command, a ninja girl. Alright, what are you going to do? What's your plan, old man? Alright, he's stuck there. He's trying to bug bite, which I can take. 10 damage hurts, but we can take it. Now, this ember is something I'm afraid of. Even less damage, wow. Maybe because he's not evolved. I was expecting more. Oh, damn it, he had a potion? And he's going straight for a boss. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Oh, is that not a good thing? We lost range and we took 42 damage? We're gonna die. Ooh, okay. And 38 to our guy who's supposed to be killing the boss. Okay. Okay, game. Well, first things first, let's win. Once this guy's dead, our main guy's in no danger, which means we win the battle. So kill him. Awesome. Alright, now that that guy's dead, we have no more danger. Shingen's out of the picture. Next, you kill Bug. Hopefully it doesn't have Poison Point, because you already took a lot of damage. Alright, very easy. Oh, it took a while for you to die. I was like, wait, what happened? And you... I have an idea. You push him... Downwards. This is, a, this is my plan, watch this. We push him downwards, he flinches, which is just uh, freaking icing on this gravy, or uh, icing on the gravy. Gra that's two expressions put together, which is just gravy. So let's do this. Another 17 damage, his blaze is activated, which is a little intimidating. Uh, I don't want that to become a problem, so let's try finishing him off. And 12 damage to fi finish things off. That feels good. That feels really, really good. Yeah, okay, so now they're, the biggest threats are gone. The, la the last two warlords aren't going to be a big threat in together. Watch this. Four damage to your face. 
I want you to watch as this happens to you, Scraggy. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, I got lots of hits. Alright, so Scraggy's no threat. Pinaco I could kill in one hit if I got my Monferno over there. That's going to be hard to do. Alright, now you're going to bite me in my ass. That's kind of annoying. Oh, don't you have a healing ability? Yeah, she does. So now she's going to heal every turn, but she killed my freaking... Oh, Oshawa took the hit. And he got his Torrent ability for taking the hit. Nice. I was going to say, no, she's going to kill Oshawa. <laughs> Almost did, honestly. Okay, he can only do 18 damage. Screw it. Do it. Try to kill this girl. Damn, she's tanky. This Scraggy is really tanky. That's not even her perfect link. She's just, she's just tanky. All right, you're going to attack her. Finish her off. Oh, it was like a 2% chance of us missing. And we missed. What, are, what is with these odds? Okay, you come here. You come here, and that's not enough damage anyway. You you hit the Pinaco. There we go. Pinaco's going to take some damage. 16 damage, honestly. That's, that's better than what I actually do hits. Hmm. Honestly, this Pinaco might be the biggest threat. Let's kill him first. So, we did 10 more damage. It's not death yet, but we're getting him there. Now, Duskull, you're going to do another... How much damage? 6 damage. And then we'll finish him off with Jigglypuff instead of trying to finish off Scraggy. Plus, we could miss trying to hit Scraggy. We can't miss doing... Oh, we knocked him onto a trap that was there. That's why it's kind of cool to have moves that push people back. But he's dead anyway. And he flinched, too. Scraggy, I'm going to let you kill my guy. I don't care. Oshawa did, did his best, but he missed. He deserves death. All because you missed. You deserve this, buddy. Watch as you suffer. Alright, and he, she can't miss. She has faint attack. Its ability is it can't miss. Remember, you deserve this, Motochika. You had, like, every reason to win that fight, and you lost. Alright, let's see. How much damage can you do with a hit? 18? I kind of don't want to give the kill to you. I want to try giving it to Snivy so they can get their stats up. Here, see if this does 15 damage. Yeah, the ratio could be low enough. 17? Nope, it went higher. Eh, it doesn't matter then. We win. And that was Kunoichi. Okay. We defeated everybody. It was a little bit of a rougher battle. They almost killed our boss Pokemon. They only they only got one kill, though. That and we brought, like, all of our heavy hitters. We didn't bring, like, our secondary force or something. Which we are going to have to split up our forces later on in the game. So now that we got that, Hanbei, what? Hey! Mareep's evolving! This isn't even your perfect link and you got a freaking evolution for it? Oh, come on, game. Catch up. Catch up, game. Fluffy! Okay, I'm glad I got Flaffy. That makes me happy. Flaffy's a really cool Pokemon. Freaking awesome. Alright, yeah! You look pretty good like that. So, we got a win there. That's pretty good. Now we got to focus more on our secondary positions, which is making money and building our territories. So this territory, let's get to building. I want that cave completed. Shopping, do, 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 or yeah, wisdom. No, this isn't shopping. This is the bank. Yeah, right on that cave. I want it to be the biggest cave in the world. I want people to visit this cave. I want them to marvel at it. Yeah, that's a good-looking cave. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, so we got a cool-looking cave now. That makes me happy. And look at down here. You're gonna be working in the mines. Working in the mines. You guys are good. You guys are gonna be working in the mines. All right. We're in a little bit of a problem. We got a little bit of a problem here. You two, I want you to retreat over here. Because there is something going on. We got we got to bring you two over to here to intimidate Shingen. We don't want Shingen to attack us. We want him to go after other armies on the right side of the map. Because if he goes after us, we're going to have real problems. But I don't want these guys to try fighting them either. I want him, I want them to, or fighting either. I just want them to make us some money. Yeah, Ginchio and Yoshihiro, they got some really good stats. She's got almost 75, that's a that's a really good stat for this. Of course, they don't have the... Oh, they do have the Meowth with them, so they're going to make even more money. And $2,650, heck yeah, I'll take that any day. Alright, $2,650, oh, that is freaking good. That is some good money. Alright. You send in this intelligent looking guy, have him do it. He's going to work in the mines. And then this place and this place here, here. This random old man, you're going to be delegated. I want you to search far and wide for a Pokemon you actually like. And then you guys. 
I want you all to work in the mines. Yeah! The reason I don't just delegate them to work in the mines, because you can delegate them to develop, they might accidentally spend our money doing that. Spend our money on these areas I don't care about. Also, we could use the bank to increase our mines, but I don't feel like doing that. Not, not this early in the game. I feel like we're fine as is, for now. Alright, let's see. It's October. How's the war going? Everybody's being gentle? No, they are not! Shingen is doing what I wanted! Okay, he's going after the right side, but he's probably gonna win, so this is not good for us. He just took over the Flying Kingdom, and he got their, the Junior Warlord to join him. Not the Warlord, though, just the Junior. Alright, I think we should stop being so aggressive and start working on finding our perfect links. Hell, we're freaking evolving now. That's not, not what we need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split up my army a bit. I'm gonna send my intelligent people. You three. Yeah, you three look intelligent. Oh, honestly, Oichi's probably intelligent too. Over there to work on the place. You guys, you stay there. You're good at working with your hands. I like that. Uh, let's check over here first though. Maybe we can find a perfect link. Alright, Larvesta's like crazy. Nope. And yes. Yes, yes, yes. Our perfect link is finally here. So let's go ahead and grab two people. We're going to grab Kanbe because his perfect link is here. And kick anybody out. I don't care. Kick this old man out. I love that they use blimps. <laughs> like blimps just seem like the slowest mode of transportation. All right. And we're going to use Oshawott. Just so he has a freaking guy to back him up in there. Alright, that he can trust, at least. There we go. Okay. Now that we got that, let's try to get his perfect link, everybody. Everyone, fingers crossed that we can pull this off. So, his perfect link is in this area. We're gonna send in everybody, just so that there's a higher chance of him getting it. We only have ten turns to get it. We have to kill it, too. So, we already know it's not Chimchar, Charmander, any of that stuff. It should be very obvious who his perfect link is. Hell, he actually wears a necklace of it. If you notice his character model, he wears a necklace of a lampant, which is this. Or you can get Litwick because it can evolve into it. So, do we want Flame Body ability or Flame Body ability? Okay, we might as well just go straight for the fully evolved Pokemon then. Or not fully evolved, mid middle form Pokemon. Simipore, normally I'd say go kill these guys, but I don't want you to. Because if you do, you'll kill the Pokemon he wants. All right, blue teleporter. We should wait for them to come to us. Yeah, you just stand there. Uh, Oshawa, come over here in case things get hairy. Ekans, go after that Charmander. We don't want him. We want him dead. Yeah, yeah, just do five damage. There we go. And that's good. Now, Oshawa, you're my big boy. You're the one that's going to be doing the murdering. So you stand there. Well, let's see what the enemies plan on doing. You want to stay up there like a coward. You want to run away like a coward. Let's see. Five damage kind of sucks, but we can take it. That Lampent is what we want, guys. We want Lampent to meet with Duskull. And then Charmander's going to do an extra damage, which we can take. All right, Lampent. You be careful now. Ooh, you have Flame Burst. I really want Flame Burst. Even though that means we'll have two fire types, it does not matter. Perfect blinks matter more to me. Or we can get Litwick, is right in front of us. Nothing stopping me other than my own need to want to have a fully evolved Pokemon already. I don't mind having a Litwick, though. Let's see, 25 HP, 23 HP. Honestly, the Litwick is stronger. Dude, the Litwick is stronger? We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We're starting from Litwick just because it's stronger. It's, gonna, it's like having better IVs and EVs. We might as well do it. All right, your perfect link, man. We're gonna get it. I messed up badly. I messed up so badly. I don't know why my timing was off there. I just I just couldn't do it. I honestly couldn't do it. Now that we know we want you dead, let's just kill him. Hell, if a water gun can kill you, I don't want you. The Litwick could probably take it. It's John Lit right there. Rick's uh, my friend Rick made a poke or had a Litwick, he called John Lit. It was very funny. I liked it a lot. Alright, let's go over here. And then Whoopa, don't worry, let Oshawa handle it. Oshawa killed Char Charmeleon. Or uh, Chimchar, oh my god. I'm getting all these Char names mixed up. Alright, and now that he's dead, we gotta wait for these guys up. They're hiding up there. Where's the green teleporter take them? Here? Okay. We'll wait here for him. 
Yeah, just at my turn. Our goal is to get Litwick. Everything else does not matter. There we go. Just where I wanted. Come down here. Right in between. Exactly what I wanted. He's staying up there. That that pig knight is really smart. That pig knight is... Oh, don't you dare run from me. Better not get the burn. Alright, good. I do like that that Litwick is fighting back. It's like, no, I don't want to join your army. You're going to make me fight. And it's like, damn right I'm going to make you fight. <laughs> You're going to become a monster. Alright, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I love that he has his little arms up like that. That's such good artwork of Litwick. Oh my god. This game has really good artwork. Like, honestly. I used it in a couple of my series. Alright, let's see. Save poor, just take out that, that guy. Yeah, take out the char my Charmander. The Larvest is dead because it's surrounded, so... Don't need to worry about him. You get up there and you deal with Pig Knight. Or you get killed by Pig Knight, either way. And then you kill... Oh, he's a little stronger than I thought. Eagle Eye, just in case. All right, let's put you here. Boom. So this Larvesta is stronger than I thought, but it makes sense that it's stronger than I thought because Larvesta is a really good Pokemon. Like, honestly. Other than it's typing, it's a really good Pokemon. Well, it's good aggressive typing. It's bad defensive typing because Stealth Rocks and Rocks in general just are good against them. Pig Knight's evolved, so I'm expecting this to do a lot. Yeah, it's fine. You were better to me dead, honestly. Sorry. Sorry to be so morbid, but yeah. Yeah. But if we don't win in 10 turns, we don't get the link, so we really need this to work out for us. Alright, let's go. Alright, do 13 damage. Kill off this Larvesta. Yeah, just enough. And then Oshawott, I'll let you handle the Pig Knight. You know you can do it. Here, just in case you have some trouble. Rally. And win. Look at that, guys. We got our perfect link. And if you want to know if you got somebody's perfect link, one, check to see if there's a gold thing above it. Uh, it does not mean perfect if it's gold. It just means like 90% or above if it's gold. But you'll probably get a little cutscene if you got somebody's perfect link. So let's see if that happens. See if we did it right. All right. I guess not. <laughs> oh, wait, no. It's because we haven't equipped it. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Go to info. Now, it's going to be a little bit weaker than what we're used to. See, it's only at 12%. Kind of weak. But it's a, it's a perfect link, so I'm going to do it anyway. I believe in him. All right, so we got Litwick. Now we're going to have to deal with this. I, I kind of left my forces a little bit weakened. And I'm going to need more intelligent people over there. All right, you. Old man, come here. You're going over here. Now that we don't need to work on our main base, we're fine. Uh, I'm fine with you guys. Can't march anybody. They all went to work. I need some more intelligent people. Let's uh, let's let's hold off on the working here. We're gonna move out of Greenleaf, everybody. Okay, you three, go over here. There we go. You'll defend the main base. And you three, wait. I only can bring two. Hold up. Uh, you, you two, go over here. So we're gonna have these two work on the infrastructure. Use their brains or whatever. Let's see, shopping, or banking, sorry, banking. We're gonna use your brains to get this to work. This place needs to be bigger because we want to find another perfect link. Even if it makes my junior warlords weaker for the moment, it's fine. Ooh, it becomes a rainbow, that's kind of nice. You know what, that's kind of nice. I like that. Oh, and minister, a rock is fall falling from the sky. That's another floating rock area. Let's see if the perfect link is there now. <laughs> Maybe next time. Alright, now we gotta see. You are gonna be an old man. You're gonna be delegated this time. I don't mind. Just go ahead and do your work. You guys, I'm gonna delegate you too. Hopefully your power like, you're not very strong. I hope Yukimura doesn't plan on attacking us. If he does, we're in trouble. Oh, whoops, I was gonna delegate you guys. Whoops, that was a mistake. We're just gonna be working hard. Enter. And work hard. There we go. There we go. So now that we got our bases in order, we're making lots of money. And we found a perfect link, which is super good. We just gotta level it up now, which kinda sucks, but we'll make it happen. Now we can focus more on advancing our army. So look at that, everything's going up. It's November, almost the end of the first year. Let's see if Shingen wants to move his army in. Nope, everyone's gonna be gentle this time. Lord Soren. 
It is my greatest wish to miss meet some new kinds of Pokemon. Would you mind me taking a little trip? I don't even know who you are. No. Get out of here. Get out of my face. You mean nothing to me. <laughs> it's so mean. It's like, yeah, why would I care about this random guy? Randy. Okay, yep. His favorite Pokemon's here. So we're going to get both our perfect links on the same day. Let's go ahead and get him. His partner. His, or his friend, Kanbei. So Hanbei and Kanbei working together. Send you over here. Ah, uh, yeah, switch places with this warlord. We don't need him. He's good for building stuff, not great for using his hands. Building stuff as in using the bank. He's smart. He's got good wisdom. Just like our two juniors here. Alright, both of you juniors go together. Make this work. Yep, off, off, off we go. So, Hanbei's perfect link should be very obvious. It's Shinx. No, I'm joking. Of course, that's Ginchio's. Uh, it should be pretty obvious. It's actually Pichu. So, Litwick and Pichu, guys, that's what we got here. You can see the gold thing, so you think, oh, no, it's it's Shinx, but no, they both have gold. So, you don't have Lightning Rod, do you? Nope, you have Sequence? Okay. We're gonna do this. This is why I brought, uh, the Litwick, so we can get some levels while it's here. Okay, nine. And then we don't want to attack the, we don't want to attack the Pichu, so we're not going to. We're just gonna chill here. See what Pichu and Shinx decide to do. Oh, don't go after Litwick, you jerk. Ow! <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so much. Alright, and... You need to link up with your friend here. Hey, Pichu, it's me, Flappy. Now do it! Ah, oh, in one try. Alright, look at these two. Look at these two. They're gonna be so happy together. I, I'm really happy for them. I know most of the people's perfect links off the top of my head, but if I... Oh, most of the Warlord's perfect links off the top of my head. But if I ever mess any of them up, let me know. Because sometimes I make mistakes. Don't get me wrong. Alright, and that did nothing. Very cute of you. Sucks that I'm throwing away these super powerful Pokemon. But it's worth it, guys. Trust me. It's worth it. There we go. Six damage. Now, I want him to get the kill. I want Litwick to get the kill so he gets levels for it. So, yeah. Whoever gets the kill does get more experience for doing it. And this Litwick def definitely needs it. Oh, good. With the stack ability, his speed went down, so this is going to be a 100% chance of hitting. Right, get video game? That's what I thought. Boom. That's game, guys. We got two perfect links today. That's freaking awesome. They are going to need some work, but they I, I feel like they're going to be great additions to the army. Especially since if you want your... Uh, what is it? Don't forget that in this game, warlords can evolve. And if you want your warlords to evolve, you need to have perfect links. They don't evolve unless they're linked up with their perfect Pokemon. So, that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we'll finish off the month of November. And we'll get working on what we should do with the rest of this world. And th in the meantime, see you all later. Well, actually, wait, hold up. Before I do that, before I end it off, let's uh, sync him up. 21%, that's way better than Litwick. What the heck? It's like, why did you get the better one? All right, whatever. That's it, guys. Bye-bye.